My name is Sean Parker, and I'm here tonight to honor an extraordinary woman. I've never met anyone who believed in life the way she did. She fought this disease with an irrepressible spirit and the belief that no matter what, we would end cancer. She never stopped fighting, and in the process, she became an activist and an inspiration to everyone who knew her. We all thought she was invincible. We're here today to prove that she is. Her name is Laura Ziskin. I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor. I'm a 60-year-old woman with metastatic breast cancer. So I'm a patient, but I don't want my cancer to define me, so I'm many other things. I'm a mother and I'm a wife, and I'm a motion picture producer. There wasn't a task that seemed impossible to her. I don't think Laura approached anything in her life, be it producing movies or battling cancer or motherhood or friendship in a traditional way. Making a movie is like curing cancer. You have to bring people together and they have to work together. Laura had the ability to dream big. She would scale things in her mind quickly. And I think that that's one of the jobs of a producer, is to have a hope for a future. She set out to beat cancer, and not her cancer, but cancer. I'm hopping mad. 1,500 Americans die every single day from cancer. As a patient, I say, what are you going to do for me? The issues of cancer are extraordinarily complex medically, socially, and politically. But so what? Like the trip to the moon or the Manhattan Project, it starts with the will and the vision and the leadership to do it. Like every great hero, she had a vision and she set us into motion. And now it's up to us to continue moving forward to achieve her dream. That's the only way we're gonna change the world. We have to think outside, we have to look outside. There's a quote of Laura's that goes, in my world, the hero always defeats the villain. The boy always, always gets, gets the, girl. the girl. And cancer is no more.